Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you how, uh, how to make, how to use motion tweens and shape tweens, okay? This is mainly for beginners, um, but if you, if in, you advanced people don't know, then watch this tutorial, okay? So, um, first let's do motion tween, okay? Let's just draw like a square, and... Let's go up to this frame, insert a keyframe, and in this frame now we want it to be all the way here. Okay, now in this frame, you right click, create motion tween on this one, right click, create motion tween. Basically all it does is it just makes it move, and or you can make it so it rotates or something. It's pretty hand. It's pretty nice and useful for more advanced games. Okay, but say you want like you want it so like it changes colors or something, and it, you want it to look like it's changing colors or something like that. Okay, let's just uh, let me just delete these tweens. Okay, now um, I'm gonna remove the tweens. Okay, now I want it to be like this, a square. The next one I want it to be a circle. But this time I want it to be red. Red. Now this time you have to double click somewhere in the middle. Tween, and this is another way of doing motion tween. I don't like doing this. Okay, now choose shape tween. And now, as you can see, now let's try it out. So there you go, like, it gets in between green and red. And uh, now a way of making it, like, let me take out the tween. None. Okay, now let me make it so there's text. Usually when you, I'm um, using MX, I'm not sure about the others, but um, when you're using text, it doesn't let you do it. Like, say, I want it to be like, it says, uh, you know, just say flash. But when I do it, so like, like you got like say if you wanted to make it so it does some animation or anything. See this is how you want it this is how you want it to be. Well, let me cut this out. So this is how I want it to end out like. But how do I make it so it's like you know, like I want it to be jumbled up and then it just comes together. Usually when you try doing this It'll something it'll, it won't let you. Okay, but there's a way. If you press Control B once, it breaks every single letter down to one. So yes, you can move each letter separately, but still won't let you. If you highlight all of them and press Control B again. Now you can basically edit, it's like you drew these letters, you can edit the letters and stuff. Now it should work like this. Oh, um, and you have to do it to this one as well. There we go, here we go. There. And let's say I want it to change text in between. Um, oh, okay, say I want it to be like, so it rotates in between. I just make a keyframe, and I just do like that. So, it rotates, and then just turns into that. Oops, no, no, actually, wait. Say I want it to turn red in between. It just basically makes it red at that time so it finds another way 
Let's make it blue, yellow, whatever. Green. Now I'm just going to do random colors. Now. There we go. So it's still going to find its way to get from here all the way to here. Um, but it'll still be like, it'll still find a way to turn into these frames. That's a good thing about Flash. Okay, so thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, comment, rate, um, watch my other videos, and thanks for watching again. And bye. And one more thing. Let's just make it. Okay. It doesn't matter. Okay, bye.